All right, y'all. Now, although we don't have Kobe that's here with us, Mamba mentality still lives on with us today, especially in the sneaker community. Recently on December 5th, Sneakers app had an exclusive drop release. This is of the Nike Kobe 6 Pro Tro Reverse Grinch. Now, if you know, you know, but if you don't, a lot of people had got information of this last year and the internet just went crazy. Now, December 5th, when it hit, Everybody pretty much went for this, and we actually see a lot of people now showing off their sneakers now. But the real release date is actually on December 15th at 9 a.m., and you can find this on Sneakers app as well. Now, shortly after the release on December 5th, Vanessa Bryant spoke up about this, stating that there will be more frequent drops that are soon to come. And she also states that hopefully we'll get to a higher place with more of a demand for the sequel of The Green Mama, which is actually the first release other than the reverse Grinch that we have that's going on right now. Now the reverse Grinch is a sequel to the regular Grinch style sneaker that had debuted on December 25th in 2010. This sneaker was shown when Miami Heat played against the Los Angeles Lakers. Unfortunately, Kobe and the Lakers had took a loss, but these sneakers had hit the airways and everybody went crazy when they first seen them. Now you don't have to ask me, you can ask the entire world, you can ask everybody else and drop their comments down below, but everybody says that this happens to be the best Christmas sneaker release ever. Now the Kobe Bryant estate, which is led by Vanessa Bryant, has been working with the Nike team to reverse the colorway for the 13th anniversary of the original Kobe Bryant 6 Grinch. The original Grinch and the reverse Grinch also have a well connection with the Mamba mentality name itself. So for those who don't know, the Mamba mentality came from the movie Kill Bill, which they had a name of Black Mamba. Kobe Bryant became a fan of this and adopted the name and became the Black Mamba, basically using this name on the court. So he felt like he was more of a Mamba, saying that he was a beast when he was on the court. So taking that Mamba mentality and adding it to the sneaker, this sneaker was created and born. That's why if you look a little closer to this sneaker, you'll see that it has like more of a reptile, this snake reptile type of skin that's added on here. But at the same time, this was more so meant for comfort and to make the sneaker a little bit more lighter so even though it may look like it's just something for pattern and design really this was also made for functionality on the court and functionality when you're wearing this sneaker just so you can have breathing and it's easier for you to move inside of this sneaker which made this more of an iconic sneaker itself now for the performance of this sneaker you have a simplified construction that's more so meant for support and impact protection on this sneaker you also have a 100 bigger zoom area in a forefoot in addition today you have a softer foam and a midsole and last you have scaled down traction on the sneaker which is on the outer sole so while you're playing on the court you have more grip now coming into earlier days you had anthony davis who played around with the colorway reversing his color of the original grinch and this was around may 2021 now in january the beginning of this year a lot of people was just showing it around you seen it on sneaker heads of course a people was blasting it saying that this was going to happen but there was no real confirmation it wasn't until september 14th when they confirmed that this was actually going to happen now i stated earlier sneakers app had an exclusive action access release already so right now you probably see it on instagram facebook tiktok and everything every other social media platform because everybody had their chance to get this sneaker and a lot of people actually got a chance but no worries if you didn't have the opportunity to get them on the exclusive app release it's okay because you have the opportunity now on the 15th because they will be releasing them in men and big kids sizes men will be going for 180 big kids will be going for 125 for something iconic like this i have no problem with the price weight just as a quick heads up i don't want you all to feel like you're only buy this on sneaker app because it's going to be a long list of places that you could buy from you'll see that they'll be at places like sneaker politics woodstack extra butter concept dtlr sns takeout ny dick sporting good foot locker champs jd sports us finish line and us nike sneakers app so that's a lot of places for you to actually have your opportunity to buy so if you don't get it from one place you get it from another so hopefully you have your opportunity to get these kobe sneakers i could definitely see these being worn on and off the court you could wear these whenever you're trying to be relaxed or if you're trying to be comfy you're trying to be on the court or if you want to style up a little bit you could actually wear these sneakers again on and off the court and these are very stylish at the same time so if you really want these these would be a good buy this is good for the price this is good for style and fashion this is good for sports and hooping and if you want to run around a little bit this is perfect for that too with that being said man i'm excited for this christmas release i hope you are too drop those comments down below let me know how you feel do you think this is fire or do you think it's not is it worth buying is it worth your 180 or is it worth your kids 125 let me know drop those comments down below in the meantime between time i'll catch up with y'all next time y'all already know the vibes i'm your homeboy cam quarter banks i'm out i'm gone i'll holler at y'all peace